Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Bull Bear Brew. Today is February 20th, and uh, of course we're going to go over the picks that I'm kind of working on right now for the trading diary. But before we get to that, um, obviously I want to emphasize I'm not a financial trader in any way. I have no idea what I'm doing and don't follow anything that I do. Don't take it as advice because that's not what it is. It really is just a way for me to um, kind of combine my loves, which are uh, microbrewing and or microbrews, I should say, at least trying them. I've never actually brewed, believe it or not, but uh, I do enjoy drinking them. And of course, swing trading. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab your glasses. It is time to review the brew. Now this brew, kind of a, a plain little gold cap there, brought to you by Fire Island. So I'll give you a little screenshot here, get that in there. This is Frozen Tail Ale by Fire Island Brewing out of Saratoga Springs, New York. Um, actually, according to the label, started in 1999, Fire Island Beer Company started in 1999 and was first served at The Shack. And uh, I initially thought maybe that was in Fire Island, um, right off the Long Island area, but uh, it looks like Saratoga Springs. So um, seems to be a little hoppy of a beer, so let's give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and pop the top here. All right. Just a little bit of smoke. And we'll give it a pour. Uh, it's kind of got a nice amber color there. It's kind of got a um, little bit of a golden foam there, too. Not Definitely not white. I don't know if you can pick that up a little bit so you can see it's not quite um, that bright white foam but it's pretty good it's got a nice consistency to it okay cheers first we'll give it a little aroma it's hoppy it's kind of like an IPA not as hoppy as an IPA but a little bit Now this one's got a bit of a, um, a little tiny bit of a fizz to it, uh, which I think you can tell by the carbonation too, just because the, the head kind of stays around for a little bit. Um, it's good. It's a little a little hoppy. It's got a little bit of a, um, almost like a little bit of an irony uh, kick to it, but it's good. And I'm a fan of ambers, so not bad. There you go. It is Fire, I'm sorry, Fire Island Brewing let me read this right. Fire Island Beer Company, Frozen Tail Ale. Okay. That is the pick of the week. And uh, now it's time to jump in and take a look at the charts for this week, the bull and the bear. Okay, now this week, um, just to quickly review for those who are new to the show, I normally will pull a screen looking for stocks anywhere between a dollar and $5 with an average trading volume of about 5 million shares because I kind of like to be in something that's a liquid stock and I get it in and get out. Uh, in this case, this week seems to pull up 15 stocks. So we're going to take a look. And some of these, of course, have comments, some not. Uh, I am using freestockcharts.com, highly recommended. So let me go ahead and pop on to the charts. First is Alcatel Lucent. So let's take a look. Now, this one I said in the beginning of February was a great buy at three. Obviously, it's a great buy at three. Huge, huge month that uh, Alcatel Lucent has had, and it's just on a tear. Uh, all these stocks, all these charts look really, really bullish. Um, even the four hour looks like it's coming back down a little bit, but... really bullish everything's really bullish so this is something that you know i wish i would have gotten into right around here i didn't that's okay i'm not going to chase the stock um i'm going to still keep it at a buy around three for now but man it's just racing forward congratulations on alcatel lucent now 213 we said this one was in a dive it still seems to be in a dive and that weekly does not look pretty neither does the daily so i'm going to keep that 213 in a dive February 6th, I said this was a buy possibly at three. Uh, let's see.
that was an interesting little bounce right there. Um, near three, but I still think it's got some room to fall. Probably close to three. So I'm going to keep that there as well. City group. Again, starting to show some bullish tendencies but might be just a little bit overbought at this point we're gonna wait for that to come back down and 450 I'll keep for now Chimera investment uh, 213 I said to hold off because it looked like it's probably undecided let's take a look man it's a nice little bump up there um, this one could go off on another tear again and by the looks of the four-hour chart it probably will But I'm going to stay off for now. Again, I'm not a big believer in chasing stocks. I'm going to wait for them to come back down to where I want them, and then I'll buy off the bounces uh, that I'm expecting. CSR. Not a fan of CSR. This looks like uh, it could come crashing back down as well. Note in there, because I don't have a note yet for this one. It'll be a new one. China Securities. So let's say as of 220. Could be a crash down, we'll see. Eastman Kodak, now this one we said, uh, looks like I said had room to fall. And even with that little bounce back up, now this could bounce up, this could be a nice little what they call it, um, sometimes they call it a dead cat bounce. Um, when it, in penny stock worlds, um, when a stock's really just crashing down, it's even a dead cat bounce is sort of the theory. I don't know that Kodak's in that much of a painful situation. I don't know what happened to cause this huge drop there. And again, I really don't care right now. The charts sort of say stay away, so I'm going to continue to stay away. Glue Mobile. Now, this is a new one. Uh, seemed to have done very, very well over the last few months. And looks like it's still doing pretty well on a bullish tear. This might be something interesting. Let's see here. Hmm, maybe around 250. But um, I would have to wait for a pullback. So for now, I really can't tell where I like this one. So I'm going to put in here to wait for the pullback. Next, LVLT. Now, this one is the one I still have a buy in at 105 if it comes back down. You can see it is, uh, looks like it's heading back there. It did kind of pilfer out at 160, and it's starting to head down a little bit. And I would like the weekly to fall down a little. Well, the weekly actually looks like it's a little bearish as well. The daily definitely looks bearish. And the four hour is starting to come down. So this could hit something interesting. And though it may not hit that 105, I might like this at a dollar and a quarter now. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this in at a uh, buck 25. I'm going to like that. So I'm going to raise this up and I'm going to adjust the uh, limit order that I have right now to buy in when it hits a dollar 25. So that's my adjustment for LVLT. NBG, I believe this is a new one, looks like it, no comments. This is another one, it's got that little gap. This is the uh, National Bank, looks like in Greece. Always in the news, pretty volatile, earlier part of last year. But for now, I'm going to stay away. I'm gonna... Let's just call this to hang out. wait for that one rad rad this is right aid i do have a buy-in at 105 and i believe i actually raised that up from 95 so let's take a look i like the 105 target still so i'm going to keep that 105 in and it, now again it might be a little aggressive or a little too conservative i should say but that's okay I'd rather have my money than lose my money. Here we're looking at about 430 for Sprint. And 
that might end up happening. But for now, I'm going to keep that there at 430. I'm not putting a buy in yet for Sprint, but at least keep an eye on it. Sirius, perhaps at a buck fifty. Let's see. That might end up getting raised up a little bit, but for now, I'm going to keep it there. SNV, interest possibly around 265. It is coming down a little bit. And there we go. So actually, this did hit. It looks like. What did it hit? It hit 266. So that could be telling. However, um, what I'm not liking about it now that it is getting close to 265 is that it probably needs to come a little further down before I'm really interested. So initially I thought a binary 240 looks like back in the day. Um, let me take that out. I think at this point I'm wanting to still stay away because I just I want to see this thing play out. So let's say today we say let's say look for the bounce because I don't see it quite yet. I don't have a really good vantage point for that because the trend could really just take a nosedive for a little bit. Not that I think it's still a pretty good buy, even at 265 if I bounced in, but I don't want to hold on to my money that long. Um, VTG, this is a new one. Uh, this could be interesting. But I like to be a little more aggressive. And when I say aggressive, I mean aggressively protecting my money. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking, you know, even though this isn't horrible, I mean, like that to come just a little bit underneath, too. Let's give this one more week just to take a look. Because this is a new one to our little portfolio family, let's see how long this one sticks around. And I'm going to put in there interesting under two. So let's say interest under two bucks would definitely make it something to keep an eye on. And we'll go from there. So that's that. Uh, that's that. The one thing I'm going to do is adjust LVLT. I'm going to move it up from a buck five to a dollar. 25 because I just like the way that that chart's going at least right now and as it gets closer again if it gets closer to dollar 25 and that chart turns south I'm gonna cancel the order but for now that's what I'm gonna change it to um, that's pretty much it so as always look forward to any comments that you may have uh, especially microbrew recommendations if I can get them I will definitely try them because I'm a fan of the brew um, and uh, that's about it we will see you on the next video